squishy. Yo, 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 they wanna know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys two half up and half down hairstyles. They're very good for school. I used to wear this one in particular every day in high school. Not really every day, but like just about every day in high school. This is one of my favorites. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching and don't forget to comment below what you guys would like to see next and subscribe if you aren't already. Bye guys. So I'm going to start off by taking my rat's tail comb and bringing a straight part up until like the front, not the middle of my hair, but just a, like right before the middle of my hair, just to get that straight part. And then I'm going to part it also across. So if I'm feeling a little fancy smancy, I'll get really creative with my parting. And I love to do zigzag parts in my hair, but I wasn't even thinking about that. And I should have did that because I would have been so cute. So after I have my front portion, I like to tie up the back portion of my hair just to get it out of my way. And at this point, I'm just going to make my part a little straighter. I can't see this far back, so I'd like to get it as straight as I can. But it doesn't really matter because no one's going to see it. It's just a, a perfectionist thing. And once again, I'm using my rat's toe comb to even out this part. So now I'm just going to make sure my front part is as straight as possible and then I'm going to tie up one side as I work on the other side of my hair. So I'm taking my spray bottle and I'm going to spray around my section. I'm also going to take some of my Eco Styler gel to slick down my ponytail. But if you guys have any other gel suggestions, leave that in the comments below because I'm looking for like a new gel. So I'm on the path to like swearing off of hard brushes, but I'm lightly using this hard brush just to stick down this section, but I don't go ham with it anymore because it's just really bad for your hairline as well as your hair in general. It's just, it's too harsh on these strands. So y'all need to just veer away from hard brushes. I use it very gently, but I'm trying not to use them anymore. But you know, it's gonna take some time because I love me a little sleep bun. So after I have my ponytail, I like to pull on the scrunchie a little bit so my ponytail is not that tight. Because as I said, these tight ponytails and these hard brushes, it's really affecting hairlines and growth and all of that. So I just try to get it as loose as possible, but still looking nice and sleek. And I'm just repeating the same steps as I did before. And then you just fluff out your hair to your liking to get it all nice and cute. I'm also going to pin my ponytails a little bit so they're not like into each other. Like you can tell that they're two distinct ponytails. I also already have a baby hair video in the products I like to use on my baby hairs on my channel already. So I'll just link that in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. Let's 
So now I'm going to show you guys how I go from the ponytails to the buns. I prefer now the ponytails because I did the buns a lot in high school. So here I'm just separating my ponytail from the back of my hair so I can get ready to make my bun. So when creating my bun, I loosely wrap my hair around itself and I try to keep it as tall as possible because they're like two top knots. I don't like my bun small when I do this hairstyle. I like it to be big and wild. For me, bobby pins are definitely optional. I don't usually typically wear the bobby pins because I already kind of like tied my ends around itself so it will stay. But just for that extra support and security, I will add maybe like one, but I never like overdo it with the bobby pins. So this is me just being cute and showing you this hairstyle and posing and doing the little, you know, the typical YouTuber pose with the hair done and nails done, everything done. <laughs> And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for your support. Like, I really do appreciate it. I don't feel like I stress this enough on my channel. And I haven't been that consistent on my channel. It's been a lot going on. But if you guys have any questions for me related to hair, college, moving to college, um relationship advice anything like that you can just leave that in the comments below i will be sure to answer that because i haven't did a q a on this channel at all yet so just let me know what you guys want to know about me it could be anything like literally anything and i'll be sure to do that next time i have actually three videos on my phone right now so i should be consistent in the following years to come i should be i'm trying to get on my schedule i'm trying to post once a week at least and yeah I really do appreciate you guys' support on this channel so much. Um, and I will be getting that wash and go video out. I've been procrastinating because washing my hair is a task. And to have a camera set up is going to be a hassle. But I'm going to get somebody to film that for me. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.